Okay, this is FreeBSD. I'm going to log in as Charlie Root. I'm going to log in as myself. FreeBSD, it's got like internet, it's got sound, you can use Microsoft Word, FreeBSD, you can get on the internet, that way, check it out, it looks my Google, not good at Facebook, whoa. What's taking Microsoft Word so long, dude? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna reboot. I'm gonna go to NetBSD. Operating system number two, FreeBSD. No, NetBSD. My mistake. Stop making mistakes, Leonie. <laughs> I won't do it again, I promise. <laughs> but I said stop making mistakes. Promise again. Oops. <laughs> Notice how this is green because it's NetBSD. NetBSD is green. Very green. <laughs> See from all angles as it comes up. That's really it's green. Modern oh. day. Oh. Maybe green is shy because now it's going away. Operating system. <laughs> the best operating system in the world, you hear me? That's the world. Good. It's got KDE 3.5. Beats the tar out of any gnome or KDE out today. And I can get on the internet. So what do you think about that? It's got sound too. Doesn't have any apps, but who cares? Which one is the one that's the only one that works with that printer? I'm not going to show you that one yet. You got to wait for that finality part. Bossy in particular. I will look that up on Google. Then Vandy Camp Bossy Disrespectful Children are not cute. Okay, I'm done with my NetBSD. I've proven that sound and get on the internet. Now I'm going to log out, restart, I'm going to go into the Haiku operating system. This is only 3 minutes and 30 seconds into this video and I've already booted into two operating systems. What do you think about that? Does it make me a show off because my supercomputer? No. I'm just pointing these things out. Happenstance. Operating system number three. Number three would be Haiku operating system. Fast rebooter, and just to prove how fast it is, I'm going to let you see the operating system for a second, and I'm going to boot right back out of it. See what I tell you? Okay, let's go for operating system number four. What will I pick? Will I pick Blow Drake? Let's see. Bloat Driva. Let's see if this boots. No, it doesn't boot because Grub fucked me. Okay, next is Slackwire. Slackwire. Hmm. 
and got myself Colonel Panic because of Grub. Thanks, Grub. <laughs> grub is swell. That's all set up before you, Grub, before you came in with your grubby hands on my bootloader. We got two other entries to try, though. They're gonna put an entry there for every kernel you ever ever had. I won't let you take it away. I do surgery. Okay, let's try Fedora. Will Fedora boot? Stay tuned. And find out. Next episode. Has the computer hard disk churns? Fedora something or other. I don't know what version it is, but it seems to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. Little bubbles filling up. Hard disk is thinking about something. That's not as fast as Haiku. Get your stuff together, Fedora. Okay, I'm going to restart. I don't feel like Fedora today. Even though I got two totally toasted operating systems, I got plenty of options, and there is more to come. So I'm just a greedy computer bastard like that. Okay, we got Ubuntu and OpenSUSE and some Linux thing. What's this? Okay. No such partition. Okay, that's cool. I can live with that. It's going to open Susa. Susa. I use open Susa. Because I'm open. I use Susa. I use the Razor file system. What do you think about that? Usually Susa doesn't look like this, but. It does. So there. Too bad. The file system, yes. The guy messed Yeah. File system's good. Person no good. <laughs> Protocol died unexpectedly. Well, thank you. The wife murderer made by a file system, and I love it. That's right. File system, though. What do you think about that, hon? Where's my web browser? There's fire. There's fear, folks. I don't know. I don't even know what version this is. What version? Okay, it works. The internet works. The internet works. I fixed the internet. I fixed it. Everybody should. Everybody should thank me. Okay, let's get out of this. Let's try something else. No. I'm too proud. Whatever that means, I don't know. Just thought I'd blurt that out. How to think of an excuse quick. Now, last but not least, it's Ubuntu. And we'll show my printer that has not worked in any operating system for years. It will now work in Ubuntu like magic. Even though I know it. No. No, I'm not putting no paper in nothing, man. They don't know it doesn't work. Like, that. for all they know, it works, okay? Besides, it works in, like, Ubuntu. I saw that on the internet. Making power noises on the internet. That's it. Where's the paper? Is there any paper on the internet? No, there's no paper on the internet. Here. I need to check out my direct TV. People don't want to pick some paper. Want a piece of paper for here? <laughs> You're like, oh boy. Linux cowboy, none of that. Might run all your operating systems. Oh, 
for your system wrangler. Hey, see there? See that there? That, 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 print, that printer's making noise. It never does that in none of the other ones. Oh, should I upgrade my Linux? Oh, yep, maybe I should. That's my Ubuntu. The gold standard of Linux. Gold, I tell you. Actually, it really isn't. But. See how the internet works. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get all my operating systems booted under 15 minutes. How about that? Come on, Ubuntu. What are you doing? Hold the show. We're starting the Firefox. Start Firefox. Start. Run forest. Run the forest. Ah, there we are. Forest Gump quotes. Okay, so the internet works. It works everywhere, but am I done? Maybe I am. We'll see. We'll find out. I have rebooted into how many different I don't know. I'm not counting. I just kick I just click buttons and things happen. I don't even have to do anything to get these on here. No pain and agony of installs and hard disk swipes and custom hardware. No, it's simple. I lie. Okay, what else we got here? Got fail safe. I don't want to do that. Let's see if I get into my slack wire from this one. Oh, Colonel Panic. Come on, guy. Three minutes. Come on, computer. I already tried to fix my injuries. Ubuntu stuffed my slackware, and this is proof, and I'm taking film of it. You stack my slumpware. You, you crash my slackware. One of these kernels have to work. The kernel worked. I will get in my next operating system boot in. Now, under 15 minutes. Come on. Slack where usually is faster than this. Oh, we get to log in. Okay, let's see. Root. I'm going to log in as root because I'm, I'm irresponsible. <laughs> yeah, I'll start. I will start X. <laughs> and I will spread viruses amongst the internet. Because <laughs> I am like a rock. I am only dumber. Here we go. Slackware. You don't know that. I mean, boot into Windows, maybe you can. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'll try to catch some. The other thing I'm able to boot into now is Bloat Drake. I got a minute to boot my Bloat Drake. Huh. Um, Anaconda server is slowing me down. Sound. I don't think I'm going to make it, ladies and gentlemen, a tragedy today. Slackware Linux is left off the table. Yes, you heard me right. An operating system without a chance. It's bankrupt. It's going dead. This Slackware eats up all of its precious time. 20 seconds to go, I have no choice but to push the button and stop the video. <laughs> 